So here's a quick example for creating your graph mystery picture. I'm going to airdrop you guys the four quadrant grid that you're going to use. As your background, it should look something like this. So you'll have it in your photos. And what you're going to do is go to Pages. We're going to create this in Pages. So if you open up Pages and then create a new document, and you're going to create a blank document. And after you do that, you're going to hit the little plus add sign at the top right there. And you're going to insert the um, four quadrant grid that I sent to you as your background. So that's the grid we're going to use. So I inserted it right here. And then I'm going to resize it. We want to kind of fit it to the entire page here. So I'm just kind of tapping it, pulling out the edges, and basically sizing it to fit the page and then centering it. Once I do that, I'm going to go and hit the paintbrush, the edit, and then lock it. And that'll keep it from moving as we add things to it and uh, make some other modifications. So I've locked that in place. And then from there, we need an image. We need something that you're going to graph. So I'm going to go to Safari and Google. And here's where you can type in what you want to. If I wanted to do Batman, you could do images, select something. And that's okay, but what I'm really looking for is, let me do a quick example of the bat signal. So... I type bat signal with a white background, and that's important because the grid um, is white, and that'll help us kind of see through. This image is perfect. It's got the transparent background, so I'm going to save that to my photos, go back to pages, hit the addition button again to add a photo, and from there I'm going to insert that picture I saved. So now it's going to put it over the top of the grid. And it, you can see, I can see the grid, but I can't see through that picture to see all the grid lines. So what I'm going to do is go into the edit, the paintbrush, and click style. And if you go down to the bottom, there's opacity. And that can make the image more transparent if you decrease that. So I'm going to decrease that, and you see now I can see those grid lines behind the picture. And that will help me when I go in to put my ordered pairs so this can be graphed. So now I'm going to move it to a place that I like. could also resize it. This seems pretty good. And I'm going to bring it just a little bit so that right wing tip goes just the outside of the grid. And from there, I'm going to go ahead and like I did with the grid, I'm going to lock it. I go to arrange, I go to lock, and now it's set in place. So I can see those grid lines behind it. And now I can go in and, um, well, real quick, make sure you have a title for this. I'll show you real fast. You can say ordered pair, mystery picture, and uh, might as well put your name in that too. So I'll put mine right here. And uh, now that I have that, you should have a page right underneath now. And from here, this is where you can list all your order pairs. You're gonna need at least 50 of them. So I can start at this one. For instance, I've got one at the outside of that wingtip is at 14 and six. So I can put the ordered pair in 14 and six. And that could be the beginning of this mystery picture right here that I can set up for someone else to graph. So kind of how I'm going to work backwards here to create my own um, ordered pair graphing mystery picture.